Hi guys, um, this is a video brought to you um, from Lewis VZ. Um, you can check out my channel if you want, whatever. We're gonna get right into this. Um, how to make your um, tires here turn in Blender here. All right, so I have here a mesh from Revolt. Um, if you guys really wanna know how to import meshes from Revolt, just let me know um, there, because they're pretty cool. And if you want to know how to edit their colors. So anyway, let's just get right into it. Um, we're going to grab, we're going to go over here to the side of our corner right till it shows a little arrow. And then uh, we're going to do, um, <coughs> sorry, just tricking them. Uh, right click there. And then we're going to pull it down a little bit and just click it with the left uh, arrow, the left button there. And then we're going to go over here uh, where it looks like a, kind of like a, great or whatever there it just says uh, displays current window type um, we're gonna click on that and it's gonna be a little guy running action editor just click on that pull it down a little bit more here and then we're gonna go and we're going to select this tire and we're gonna use both of these we're only making the front tires turn um, and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hit that um, yeah we're gonna select our tire hit I and then it will say lock, rot, locate, and rotate. And then we're just gonna click on that. And then we're gonna select the other tire. Hit I, lock, rotate, and rotate. And then there we go. Now they're, now they're set. Now you wanna set how many frames you want it to be up to. We're gonna set it up to frames. It's gonna be like a quick turn. Um, now it's gonna be five frames uh, going through there. Um, which is, which is uh, pretty good there. Um, depending on what type of vehicle, like you have like a heavy type tank, vehicle it might turn really slow or uh, do that then you might want to pull it up but this is like a little remote control car from Revolt so um, we're gonna go and we're gonna twist the tire ever so slightly to the directions that you might want it to be and then uh, hit locate and rotate locate and rotate now that only took like two seconds didn't it so pretty slick there now we got our tire so they turn and it will turn slower of course if we add it longer there that will make it turn slower um, all right so now we're gonna actually go and set these controls into a key on the keyboard we're gonna go to our logic key just hit F4 and you'll be there and then we're gonna get hit add on these three tabs and then we're gonna connect them with these uh, little yellow dot thingies <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna go to our keyboard and that is going to our right there um, so we're just going to set that to the to our right key. Um, we're going to go to IPO on motion. See, it's this motion right here. Um, yeah, you set that to keyboard, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to go to motion IPO, and then it's going to say it's going to show here. That's the frames. How how many frames that is going to show? We're going to go over to here to end at five and leave start at one. You can't, there is no, there is no zero, so don't try doing that. Um, so there we go. Um, now that is set. So now every time we hit that key, that's gonna do that. Um, and uh, we're gonna do that the same thing here, so you can just rewatch that in case if something gets messed up. Connect those. Always keyboard. The right arrow you can use uh, like the D key or any other key it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be that we're gonna go to motion IPO all right IPO and then we're gonna go to end at five uh, don't know what really what this bottom thing does if it, if it does anything cool let me know <laughs> so uh, there we go so as you can see now it's just kind of playing and just going and staying there that's kind of annoying isn't it so what we're gonna do is it's gonna say play here um, over the you know the frames here and then we're going to go over here to Flipper. Both of them, we're going to set them both to Flipper. Now watch. When we hit it, they're going to go back. So every time you let go, so it'd be like a quick little, you know, let go real fast, or just turn for a while. And as you can see, now the car is going to uh, turn properly. There, so that looks very cool. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much concludes it. I'll show you what it kind of looks like in a, another game. Here, let me just find it real quick. Uh, there it is. We're gonna go over here, and that's one I've kind of worked on a little bit longer here. And we can go over here, and as you can see, the car looks.
looks like as if it's turning. Now, you're going to want to set the tires so they spin. I didn't do that on this one, but you need to uh, set them so they spin because as you can see, mine over here look like they're spinning, but um, when they turn, the tires just stay still. So you have to, you have to kind of spin them in there. Um, like I said, all the uh, pretty much most of the meshes, like this bench here and the car and the tires, everything, um, I got those meshes from Revolt. Uh, I'll show you right now. I can go to um, the Z Modeler program and import the mesh. Just go over here. Go over here. Um, back here. Uh, we'll go like here into my bruiser files here for the car. And then I'll let you click on his body and it's going to import it. There. And then when you uh, tell it to export, it, you're going to tell it to be in 3DS. And then you just give it a name. Body. And then we'll put it on my desktop there and just save it and it will just tell you something <laughs> and then we're gonna go into blender and we're gonna go file uh, over here and then we're gonna go down and it's gonna say import if you want you can export also so you can add it into your other game and it will say 3d 3d studios 3ds go like that we're gonna go to my desktop um, and then we're gonna find body 3ds import and it's gonna let you know how big you want it we can just scale it so it doesn't really matter to me and uh, wherever it went there no, I lost it well it works I know that but I don't know where I put it I remember where I told it that put the meshes at on this map but it will pop right up I don't know why mine's not showing it just isn't I added too many meshes in here or something but yeah um, so you can just import them right away and then there you got them. So yeah, um, you can edit the, the colors, of course, by um, GIMP or uh, Photoshop. So there you go. So if you find this useful, just let me know. If you ha have any questions, just tell me. Um, I'll try to get to them. So that's it.